How's it going guys? I'm your host Carbon Gaming. Welcome back to another Adventure Quest video. And for this week's release, we only have one release and that is the new Void Boss Monster for August 2020. And it's actually a dog. So yeah, all you're getting this release is a dog monster. Sounds weird, but uh, you know, it is what it is, alright? So uh, let us uh, go and get some SP first. And then uh, what's unique about this monster is uh, you actually can't do any damage to it or barely any damage. So no matter what element you use, doesn't matter if it's uh, fire, water, wind, any of the standard 8 elements, uh, you only do 1 damage. Even for darkness, which he has 200% resistance to, you only do 2 damage maximum. I've not seen anything higher than 2 damage. Even with the lucky shot, it's also 2 damage. I've not seen it go above that. Um, if you're thinking of backlash, then uh, the backlash is also kept at 2 damage. And uh, even when you use other elements like void and harm, it's still kept at 2 damage. So it doesn't matter what booster you use, whatever uh, crap you want to use, uh, it's going to be the same. So 2 damage is the name of the game right here and you can't go higher than that. So now that we've got enough SP, let us uh, stock up on some potions first because you will need to use a little bit of potions for this okay and uh, there's no point going fully offensive for this uh, monster because no matter what you are dealing either one or two damage only so you might as well go fully defensive and uh, you know turtle up so that he won't do as much damage to you as possible and the fear skill doesn't work because the monster is completely impervious to any effects. It's uh, immune to control effects, to fear effects, basically anything under the sun. You can still gain celerity though, so that's uh, one thing you can use. Alright. Now, uh, for the equipment, what prep do you need? You don't really need any preparations, to be honest. And um, the buff pet is actually pretty pointless. What you want is a pet that can do damage. And for the... For your guests, you don't want a booster pet. You don't want a booster guest either. What you want instead is a uh, guest that can do backlash to up your damage output per turn. Even though it's only 1 or 2 damage, but it does save you on quite a lot of turns. So, for free to play players, you can get the Essence of Carnage. For pay to win, you can get the Dread Fiend of Now Geth. Honestly, it doesn't matter which one you use because uh, either way, the damage is going to be kept at too so yeah just use uh, I'm just going to use essence of carnage here to show you guys uh, since it's more accessible to everyone and let us head to the void to challenge the diamond dog you obviously want a really good a um, you obviously want a really good what do you call that uh, what's the word I'm looking for Oh yeah, you obviously want really good light resist because all it does is light damage. So you want your best uh, light armor and light shield equipped. Now for miscellaneous items, you really don't need anything except shadow feeder pendant uh, essence, and essence orb. Maybe a bunch of, I don't know what other stuff you can actually want because all of the other booster items or that don't do anything uh, to the diamond dog. So he's sort of like a anti... Uh, stun nuke meta boss because you can't nuke him and you can't exactly stun him either so yeah it's quite interesting that the staff will actually uh actually came up with this monster the thing is he's not a difficult monster he's just a very tedious monster to fight through once you get his mechanics down so i'm just going to equip a uh, terror eater here and show you guys what i mean so even though it's 200 percent you are still not going to uh do a lot of damage and of course he has the backlash as well so you'll reflect 50% of damage so you don't want to do too much damage to him because you're just going to eat more damage as well right <coughs> now for pets uh, let's use the darkness pet doesn't matter which one you use like I said and then we'll summon the essence of carnage as well right here I'm to start off by using you don't need your buffalo's beach ball you don't need your cold konami you don't need all of this Okay, but what I can or I want to do is use Absolute Darkness. I don't know if the effect stacks. Okay, I did not try this the first time around, so let's try it now. Uh, empowering your outgoing Darkness damage. Unfortunately, it doesn't uh, really do... Uh, it doesn't change anything, right? 
so and it surrounds your foe so let's see what we get here it's blind now which means you will get to do more damage no you will uh, the monster will hit way lesser okay nice oh it doesn't it doesn't stack i thought it stacked okay so it doesn't stack it's still minus 14 bth it's okay uh i'm you know i'm not going to purple rain back you can if you want to but it's quite pointless honestly let's just gain a bit of sp here let's use shadow feeder right and then we can just call this off because there's no point in using that um you can use your defensive items i guess that will help okay shields no shields i want to use my uh defender of frost will pass just click on it once you get nice bit of blocking and switch back to strawberry shield cake and we can use its uh abilities once uh we've gained enough uh, strawberry charges okay so now i'm just going to attack normally and you'll see there the carnage you inflicted refreshes your mind okay uh that doesn't matter actually oh oh i forgot the essence of carnage guess that i had uh, actually uses MP. There's a SP version also, so yeah, I should have just gotten the... I should have just used the Dread Fiend of now again because that was the SP one. So I shouldn't have gotten the Summon version, I should have gotten the Core version. So I'm unfortunately unable to use it because my max MP doesn't even... It's not even 206. So yeah, that's a bit unfortunate. But uh, you don't... The gas just speed things up a little bit. It doesn't help, like I said. So you don't... It's not a must-have, right? And you can see here, it's just a matter of continuously uh, clicking the attack button until this guy goes down. Okay, you can use uh, celerity to make things faster a bit, but uh, honestly, not, not much point, you know what I mean. And you can reduce damage uh, using the strawberry shield cake if you actually have it. If you don't have it, then well, it doesn't really matter. Armors with more hits will be more effective against this monster, but... Uh, Armors with more hits usually they don't have such fantastic defenses or I can't really think of any light armor with a lot of hits. I know uh, the Whispering Raymond has a skill that does 10 hits that will do a lot of damage to this monster but that being said it's not a good light armor which means that you will probably uh, suffer quite a bit if you were to use that. So let's use shield right here to reduce the incoming damage. Let's no, let's use Shadow Feeder so we can drink up a health pot. Okay. Heal up a little bit. Don't want to take too much damage from his SP attack. Make sure we don't die here. And... <clears throat> Be nice, we got a 2 hit. Ooh, we missed completely. That's really good as well. Wow, the backlash really hurts. So you can just... You honestly don't even need a level 150 weapon. You can just get a level 1 weapon probably. And you'll, you'll probably do the same amount of damage uh, as you're dealing with a level 150 weapon. Minus the super painful backlash that you get. So I think lower level weapons would work better here. Though I have not tested that theory out. But I think yeah, you would still be able to do damage since the... I don't know if you'll end up dealing zero damage. I have not personally tried that out, but I think it should be possible, you know. I think this is the route that the staff wants us to take when dealing with this monster. An anti sun nuke meta monster, okay. Very interesting that the staff came up with this way to uh, combat the current meta game in South Adventure Quest, but that being said, there is no real strategy to this fight other than slowly, you know, grinding it out. And clicking for like, what's 300 divided by 5 or 6, that's like 30, more than 30 turns. 50 turns, about 50 turns uh, to get this guy down, <laughs> close to 50 turns. Right, so yeah, there's no real strategy other than turtling up and, you know, hoping for the best. But uh, yeah, it's a very long, drawn out, very boring boss fight, but you know, it is what it is, yeah. Okay, so let's do let's do Shadow Feeder again. Okay, we got two of it, right? Let's drink one health pot, let's drink another health pot. We should get another turn. Do we? No we don't. Right. I thought we'll get another turn. Was I wrong? 
Oh, we'll get it next turn, right? Is that it? I think we will. Yep, okay. Uh, so it moves on to the next turn. Haven't really tried celerity stacking before, so yeah, now I know how it works. Ooh, and my Dragon Favor video just finished rendering, okay. In case you guys are wondering what video I'm talking about, this is actually the uh, challenge video which should already be out on this channel by the time you see this Adventure Quest video being uploaded. So it's the new uh, Fractured Souls uh, Duo Challenge video, right? And I will have another video tomorrow talking about the Pyromancer changes for Dragon Fable. So stay tuned to that for viewers who actually watch my Dragon Fable content as well. But for Adventure Quest, there's really nothing going on this week. So yeah, there's there's not much I can talk about other than this Diamond Dog pet. So yeah. You want quite a lot of healing for this. Okay, because without enough healing, then you can't uh, actually sustain that long and ooh, I messed up I forgot to unequip shadow feeder pendant so now my MP is only 66 crap oh I can't equip shadow feeder pendant anymore Arr. yeah I messed up there uh it's fine it's fine it's no big deal shadow feeder pendant just kind of speeds up stuff by giving you celerity but without it you still you still do perfectly fine it's not a big deal it's just that you will probably need a few more health potions and you will obviously need a uh, few more turns to kill this annoying dog, right? And it looks like my shield cake is fully charged. You know, I really like uh, how the shield cake changes according to the number of charges. I didn't uh, notice until the other day when I was looking at it. So I think it's really cool. Okay, so until because most fights usually aren't that long drawn out and I don't really bother with getting the shield cake up to like maximum charges before I go into the daily quest or whatever so uh, only through this monster the other day did I notice that hey actually the shield cake uh, builds up layers slowly the more charges that you get so it's a very nice animation and a neat little detail that they have uh, going for it right there and of course by saying all that I actually forgot to use the charges to use the shield uh, to reduce incoming light damage so crap but never mind we just keep going, we have more than enough HP potions to go through this entire battle. So, uh, alternatively, you can get a miscellaneous item that reduces your that reduces the light damage that you take to give you even more survivability if you don't have that many health potions or healing uh, equipment to use. So, one good miscellaneous item is the Ilahi Earth of Osiris. There are obviously better ways to go about fighting this monster. I'm not doing it in the best optimal way, but you don't really have to because it's not a super tough monster, right? You can use the Earth of Osiris to cut the damage you take from the Diamond Dog even further. You can use a Essence of Carnage Gas, um, or you can use the Dread Fiend of Nalgath Gas uh, to give yourself a little bit more damage output per turn also. So you can kill him faster, but yeah, thankfully he's only 155. He only has, no, he only has like 300 plus health. So it's not really that bad, but yeah, it's it's already tedious enough. Can you imagine if they gave us a monster with like a thousand health? Wow, I, I will just kill myself fighting the monster, man. And I don't understand why they actually uh, put it such that the resists are 100% and 200% like if you're going to make us do one or two damage like just make it more obvious i'm sure some people will figure it out after hitting him a few times so why not just put his uh, resist at like five percent of each element or one percent or something like that you know instead of putting it at like 100 percent 200 percent and i think people think that hey maybe you know uh we can use an element to hit this monster and you deal uh the full damage but no all the elements deal one or two damage only so what even is the point of putting the percentages at 100 and 200 percent like just make it obvious five percent one percent you know so people know what to do with it like they will figure it out after one or two hits so there's no point in trying to hide it yeah and okay going to need to refill on my potions afterwards 
and so this is for warriors for mages it will be the same thing you just try and burst him down with your spells but there's no point because you'll be capped at two damage or one damage so uh stuff that has a lot of hits yeah they will work really well here uh, any spells with like 10 hits, 20 hits, they'll be really good. I know there's a spell that has like 15 hits or something like that. They'll deal really good damage on this monster. But unfortunately, warriors are locked to their base attacks, so we don't have the luxury of that. And as far as I remember, there aren't many light armors out there which has a lot of multi-hits, like I said earlier. So yeah, I'll just use White Knight Z, and, which is only a 2-hit armor, but you see here, it still gets the job done. Right. Let's heal up again. Oh, this is getting a bit annoying. The healing. Okay, let's continue. Almost down, guys. Less than a hundred HP left. Yay. Can I use the celerity yet? No. Oh, because I keep using the freaking shield, right? Let's do the shield again. I don't know what's better though. The element shield or the uh, damage reduction, but I think it doesn't really matter, honestly speaking. Wait, what does it say? Darkness just now. I thought it protects against light. Yeah, reduces incoming light damage. Why did it say darkness on my... Hmm. Pretty sure it was light. I thought I saw darkness just now. Did I see wrongly, guys? You guys can play back the video. I thought I saw the damage modifier was darkness, which is kind of weird. Oh, well. Oof, he's hitting hard. String and our health pot. This should be the end of him, I think. Come on. Oh, another SP attack. Let's do damage reduction this time. 51 less damage per hit. I think damage reduction is better, right? I think the damage reduction is slightly better. At least it feels that way. I don't know. Ooh, 12 and 9. Yeah, damage reduction is definitely better. And I used up a lot more health potions this time because I screwed up with the Shadow Feeder Pendant. I also screwed up with the uh, Gas right here. So yeah, don't be stupid like me. Remember, if you're a warrior, get the Core Essence of Carnage uh, Gas instead of the Summon version. And if you're a Mage, then yeah, use the Summon version. And I also forgot to mention he can inflict a bleed on you also, but the bleed is pretty negligible, so you can just completely ignore that if you so choose. And there, finally the end of it. One monster taking me almost 20 minutes just to kill. Staff, AQ staff, if you're watching, please do not freaking... Give me monsters like that again, like, what the, wait, what, did it just do 1503? Holy shit, what? Guys, did I see that correctly? But that was on the last hit. Weird. 25Z tokens, wow. Guys, did I finally, wait, what's going on? I thought you usually say, oh. Guys. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I finally got my first Z token gift. Ah, I am so happy. But then again, it's only 25. Why 25? I've been grinding every single day for some other random quest. The crossroads one to be exact. I've never gotten a single Z token gift. And now I finally get one, but it's 25. Oh my gosh. Okay, I know what they say. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth, but come on. 25... 
How much I spent on this game? I deserve at least the 5,000 one. Come on, give me the 5,000 one. Ugh. House items, you can get him as a house pet though, I don't think. I don't know if he has the same effect as the Void Monster. If he does, then he is a ridiculously strong house pet. But yeah, anyways, that's not the point. I don't think anybody wants to waste Z tokens to get him as a house pet. Unless you really just want to annoy visitors to your house, okay? Did I actually buy him yet? I think I haven't bought him, right? Because I did this fight once. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't bought him, okay? Let's buy some slots for pets, shall we? Because I don't feel like selling anything. I think we have to buy two slots. Alright, uh, we'll buy one more. Nice, okay. So there's a few different variations of this. You get the ambushing diamond dog. Okay, this one uh, does more damage, but at the same time, he only attacks every other turn. This one uh, uses your dexterity stat instead of your charisma stat. So if you're a warrior like me, then you definitely want to get this instead. And the stunning diamond dog uh, uses your charisma stat. So I don't think for any of the meta builds nowadays, you actually want to use the stunning version unless you're a beastmaster so if you're a warrior or if you're a mage or some other build you probably want to get sneaking or ambushing instead so we will buy both sneaking and ambushing okay and see uh, if there's a big difference to it okay oh we need to buy one more pet slot Ugh. okay let's just do that and ambushing I'll probably come back and buy the stunning. I don't know if I want to buy the stunning. Okay, so if I change to a uh, build with his... Wait a minute. No, 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 no. Wait, there's something else going on. Oh, wait. This one? The stunning one can stun. Okay, it's not just using charisma. Interesting. Uh, This one increases his damage when you have uh, dexterity this one increases damage uh, because you only attacks every other t oh so all three of them are completely different okay 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 uh you know what what the heck let's just get one more pet slot why the heck not right why the heck not <laughs> so three completely different variations now let's see what they are all capable of once again it's the very tedious process of shifting this all the way up because of the amount of inventory items I have well wow, this is pretty insane <laughs> guys first world problems I've seen some people's inventories uh, of the whale players and I'm talking about the players who donate like freaking 300 to 500,000 tokens per donation contest just to win and their inventory is way more stacked than mine if you think mine was good then there are some people with like way longer inventory and that's just freaking insane in my opinion it's just crazy how many how much money they can throw at this game i mean i i throw a lot of money at this game too but you know not not on that level yeah <laughs> I'm, I'm nothing compared to some of the other uh pay to win players okay um yeah okay Let's save the sort order first and because I'm OCD like that, let's rename this for 20 gold. Let's rename this for 20 gold as well. And let's rename the last one, this one for 20 gold. So Okay, now let's test it out on the combat practice trainer to see the new pets. I can't believe this small release took me Almost half, I can make a half an hour video out of this small release. Wait, what? Where is the last one? Oh god. Didn't get the last one in. I thought I did. Well. Uh, pets. Okay, now. Okay, three different pets, uh, but I assume they all probably look the same. Weapons, I'm gonna change it to something without a special so freaking power word die doesn't activate on me. Sneaking diamond dog, this one uses your dexterity stack. Okay, let's start. Okay, 
37, 34, okay. Hmm. Okay, he's doing about 60 plus damage, 70 plus. Can you click on him? I don't want to click on a weapon. What's a weapon that I can't click on? Uh, yeah, this weapon, okay. Can you click on the pet? No, you can't click on the pet to do anything. Uh, 60 to 70 plus damage. It's okay. You know, uh, not a lot. Even with a 250 dexterity boost, that's a little bit disappointing. I was expecting over 100 damage, I don't know, cause it uses dexterity, right? My dexterity stat is maxed out and it's not dealing as much as I like. So let's see the ambushing diamond dog. Okay, I assume the artwork looks the same. Is, is the crystal different? Is it just me? Sorry, it's a little bit late now, guys. Yeah, I think the crystal patterns on the back are exactly the same. This looks exactly the same. Okay, he's prepped for a sneak attack. Let's see how much you do. Okay, 150 plus. Right. That's like almost two turns worth of damage. So there's, there's no difference. Um... Yeah, there's, there's no difference in damage, it just deals double damage. Uh, Literally no difference, you either get all the damage in one turn, or you get the damage split up into two turns, but end of the day, you aren't really getting a boost out of it, so... I don't know if there's a little bit of a difference in terms of the numbers on paper, but when I'm using it like this, it's uh it, it looks the same to me, honestly. So yeah, let's see, Stunning Diamond Dog. Okay, this one is the one that can stun, right? Oh wow, okay, this one actually got a lucky shot. Oh, okay, this one I can click on its mouth to do something. Non-clickable. Sneaking one, also non-clickable, okay. Only the Stunning one is clickable. Dealing the same amount of damage. Uh, attempt to paralyze. Okay, so it can paralyze my foe. Let's see what it does. Endure the stunning effects. Okay. He just endure again. Come on, stop enduring. Jeez. Paralyze my foe. Okay, one round unable to act. Does it stack? I don't think it stacks. Yeah, it's only one round, so I don't think it stacks. Is there any way I can un un to see? No, it doesn't stack. Okay, so yeah, all in all, <laughs> it's a pretty disappointing pet. Not worth the trouble at all, guys. So, uh. Don't don't waste your time getting this. Honestly, it's it's not worth. Ugh, what a waste of time for this crappy pet. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this week's release. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, be sure to give it a thumbs up and of course subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more of such future content. Till the next time, I'm your host Carbon Gaming. Peace out.